Starting with the graph, f of x equals nine to the x. Write the equation of the graph that results from shifting three down, six left, reflecting about the x-axis. Okay, so we have learned about graph movements. Let me see if I go to the notes. Um, yeah, there they are. Function transformations. This is the exam three notes. Let me grab it and bring it over here. And paste it in so you can see it. There it is. So again, here from the exam three notes. Function transformations. So notice that um, if you put, um, if you add or subtract a number outside of the parentheses or the square root, either way, whatever, that uh, moves the graph up for adding, down for subtraction. If you add or subtract a number inside the parentheses or the square root next to the x, it moves the graph in the opposite direction, right for subtraction, left for addition. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. How are we gonna move a graph three units downward? Well, we're going to have to take the original equation, which is, you know, f of x equals 9 to the x. To go down, we're going to have to go minus 3 off to the right. So again, up or down, let's check back here. Up or down, add or subtract the number outside of the parentheses or the square root. Right? It's it's not next to x, in other words. It's not next to x, it's, it's after. So, there, so there's, for all these transformation things, you want to think about two different kinds of things. You can be in x's world or not in x's world. Wherever x is, x may be inside of a square root, inside of parentheses. On these ones, where does x live? X lives in the exponent or power world. These are exponentials. So, but this concept applies to all graphs and equations at all times. So these are good principles to learn. That basically, if you, so, so down here for left, I'm gonna put the X up there in X's world and it's opposite. Plus six will actually make it go left. See the difference. So this minus three is not in X's power exponent, exponent world, whereas the plus six is in X's exponent world. So the deal is if you're in X's world, you're in X effect, but it's opposite. It's opposite. X is always opposite. So positive is actually left and negative is actually right. So we have positive because that makes it go left. Whereas if you're not in X's world, then you're not X, you're a Y effect, which means you're up down. Y is up down. You're positive up, negative down. This is down, so it's negative. Does that make any sense? Do you see what I'm talking about there? So when it comes to messing with an equation and figuring out what the corresponding effect on the graph is, you have to be clear. Is that number being added or subtracted? Is that in X's world or not in X's world? If it's in X's world right next to X, it's going to have an X effect, like this one. This one here had an X effect. What do you mean X effect? Right, left. The X axis goes right, left. Whereas if it's not in X's, then it has a Y effect, meaning up, down. Is that difference making good sense? Let me separate these. Right, see what I'm talking about there. One more time. If I put something right here, he's not up there in X's world. So he's not an X effect, he's an up down. So minus three, he's down. Three units down, perfect. Whereas if this six, he got up there in X's world, he's living next to X. 
So he's going to have an X effect, or meaning a right or left effect. But X, let me make this note clear. X, make it a bigger, bolder statement here. X is opposite. X always has an opposite effect, meaning positive is left. See it right here? Positive is left and negative is right. Positive is left, negative is right. That's opposite. So X has an opposite effect. So this one is up here in X's world, it's plus six. You got into X, so we're gonna have a right left, but X is always opposite. So plus six means left six. So that's perfect. And then part C, reflecting about the X axis. Now, what does that mean? Reflect. That means if you have some kind of graph, Draw some kind of graph, um, you know, whatever, blah, 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 like this. And then it's going to, here's the x axis. It's going to reflect. So it's going to go like that. See how it reflected? Let me draw. What if it says x and y axis? Yeah, good question. So I'll do that one as well in just a second. So this one reflects about the x axis. So it, it means it jumps over. It means you grab the x-axis kind of like a, like a mirror, like a, or like a rotisserie, like a, barbecue, like a barbecue rotisserie, and you turn it. Does that make sense there, what I'm saying? So it's like you're turning the x-axis like a, like a rotisserie on a barbecue, and the graph flips over the x-axis. So what kind of flip is that? Well, that's clearly a vertical flip, isn't it? Even though we say x-axis, it's kind of confusing because we think, well, x is sideways. Yeah, but if you jump over the x, you really jumped vertically. You went up and down, right? So that's actually a vertical flip. So we should expect it to have a y effect. And indeed, it will. What does that mean, a y effect? It'll multiply by negative 1 in, in the front. So it'll become minus Nine. Now, why in the front? Rather than it'll multiply. How did I put it in the notes? Go down to the notes. If you multiply negative one outside of the parentheses of the root, that flips the graph vertically up and down over the x-axis. See how they put the minus in the front? Yeah. So it multiplies minus one in the front. Why the front? Because well, that's not next to x. That's not x's world. Now, to, uh, to address the other options here, what if, now let me just kind of do them all. What if they said, I'll do the Y and then I'll do both. What if they said reflecting F of X, smudge that, F of X about the Y axis, about the Y. Well, what would that look like graphically? That would be a graph like, you know, right over here, whatever. And you know, do like that. Then it's going to jump over the. Here's the y-axis. It's going to jump to the other side of the y-axis. I don't know if I can do this. Like that. It's going to jump over to the other side of the y. So it's like grabbing the y-axis and turning that like a rotisserie. So it's certainly a sideways flip, isn't it? It's a sideways flip, which means it's an X effect. It has a sideways effect, has an X, even though we say Y axis, but if you jump over the Y axis, you jump sideways, you did an X kind of thing. You did a sideways kind of thing, which means what? We should multiply the X by negative one in his world, right where he's at, whether he's in the power of the parentheses, how I put it in the instructions. Multiply negative one inside the parentheses or inside the root or wherever X lives, right there, right on the X. That's a sideways flip. So in my case, where I had nine to the be nine to the minus X, he gets right in there, right next to X where X lives, in the parentheses, in the square root, or in this case, in the power. Now, what if it asks both? What if it says reflect F of X the x-axis 
and the y-axis, well, then I would just do both. So it would become the, nine, the negative in both places. So the negative would be both in the front and on the x, negative in both x's world and y's world. Y's world is out front, not next to x, or the back, but, and then x's world is right next to x. So that's the moral of the story here on this question, is to be really clear the difference between x's world, where, where does x live? In this problem, he lives in the power. In some questions, it's square root of x. In other questions, he might be in a parenthesis, x plus three in parentheses, whatever, wherever x lives, in the power, in the square root, in the parentheses, whatever, if you go in there and mess with x right next to x where he lives, that's going to have an x effect, a sideways effect. And if you don't, if you're not negative, if you like that negative three, which is not right up there in the power with x, then that's going to have a y effect. And y is always normal, meaning positive is up and negative is down. X is always opposite. Positive is left, negative is right. And then for reflecting or flipping, it's the same kind of thing. If you flip vertically, that's a y effect. So that's negative one in the front. If you flip sideways, then that's an x effect, negative one multiplied right next to x's world. And if you do both, then negative in both places. There we 